Okay, um, next we're going to speak about the uh, direct lateral approach, the Harding approach, also called the transgluteal approach. In a modified Harding approach to the hip, what structure limits the proximal extent of the medius split? The superior gluteal nerve, the inferior gluteal nerve, the pudendal, the corona mortis, or the sciatic nerve? And as we indicated previously, it is in fact the superior gluteal nerve. It enters the deep surface of the gluteus medius approximately five centimeters proximal to the tip of the trochanter. So be cognizant of this in order to avoid potential denervation to the muscle. <clears throat> the direct lateral approach is excellent exposure to the hip joint. Its indications predominantly for total hip arthroplasty can be used in proximal femur fracture. It has basically the lowest reported rate of total hip prosthetic dislocations of any approach in the literature, although its use is declining in North America. No true inner nervous plane, the intermuscular plane, splits the gluteus medius distal to the innervation, again, less than five centimeters, and the vastus lateralis is also split lateral to its innervation from the branch of the femoral nerve. Uh, some comments, options, general or spinal anesthesia. Again, I think regional is probably preferred. Can be performed in either the lateral or the supine position. Begin the incision five centimeters proximal to the tip. Center this over the tip of the greater trochanter and about eight centimeters distally. Once you split the fascia lata and retract anteriorly to expose the tendon of the gluteus medius, and at this point, you can detach approximately the anterior third fibers of the medius, uh, extending that distally. And again, we just emphasized for now the third time, do not extend proximally above the trochanter to prevent er uh, injury to the superior gluteal nerve. Um, again, inferiorly, we're going to take this dissection down into the vastus lateralis and at this point develop this anterior flap. This can be either a soft tissue flap, in the anterior aspect, taking the uh, gluteus medius off of its anterior insertion into the tip of the trochanter. Uh, this can be done sharply. Alternatively, a small fleck of bone uh, for later reattachment. Um, expose the uh, hip joint anteriorly, follow the dissection, and make your capsulotomy, and then again, you should be able to have exposure at this point to the femoral neck. Structures at risk, again, the superior gluteal nerve, I think we've said that enough, and the femoral nerve, it's the most lateral structure in the neurovascular bundle, the anterior thigh, and again, keep the retractors on the bone with no soft tissue to prevent iatrogenic injury. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.